Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lefshik Excel Master, and I'm your friend Farashik. And today we are going to learn about the match function in Excel. Well, the match function in Excel is used to extract the position of the lookup value in the row and column. We'll be using the match function in our upcoming exercises where we are going to combine the match function with index and VLOOKUP. So let us quickly see the example over here and understand the technique how to use the match function. As you can see the data, we wanted to extract the position of the cell red in this range. So we will use the match function equal to match lookup value is the red and the lookup array. Note my friends that match function works only in single dimension. You can only select the column or you can just only select the row. You cannot select it in tabular form. It's not in lookup table. It's in lookup array. So you have to select the row of four to make this cell of an absolute cell reference. Comma and match type will be the exact match. Excellent. The position of the red is in one in the lookup array. Let us see blue. I should return as the value three. Excellent. Let us look at black. I should return as Four, great. And green. Let us do. Note, my friends, this formula is not case sensitive. So, in case if you put the caps letters, it will still be able to read the value. So, let me show you what will be the position if we would have selected the range from A3. E equals to match lookup value. Screen. We're going to select the range from A3 to B3 comma the exact match. This time the position of my color green is 3. Let us look red. Position number is 1. And here we have the position number is 2. So it's very important my friends to enter the correct lookup array based on the data what you are extracting. Let us look another example over here. We have a list of countries over here and this is in a drop down list. In my previous videos, I have covered four different methods to make the drop down list and a dynamic drop down list. So you can have a look on this video. So let us select a country and find its position equals to match. The lookup value is USA, and we are going to look the value in this range. We are going to log the range, or we are going to make the cell as an absolute reference by pressing F for free comma exact match um, and we are going to copy the above formula by pressing ctrl d great so uae we get the position of the uae as 5 so by now you must be familiar how to use the match function with the exact match type so let us look the other match types as 1 and minus 1 we have a list of data over here with the names and their points and based on the points, we would like to extract the position which is less than or equal to this number. So before we use the match type 1, we have to ensure that our data is in ascending format. So we need to sort this data into an ascending format. So all we need to do is go to Home tab and under Editing, we go Sort, Custom Sort and Points from Smallest to Largest. And now when we put the formula equals to match, the lookup value and we are looking up in this range and we are going to make the cell as absolute reference and should be less than 9 so if it is less than 9 then it should return as the column number 4 excellent if it is less than 6 then it should return as the column number 3 so very important thing so when you're selecting match 1 your values must be in ascending order now let us see the formula by changing the value type as minus 1. So when we are using the match type as minus 1, we have to ensure that the data is being sorted in the descending order. So now when we are going to select it as minus 1 in the formula, it will give us an error because our data is not sorted in the descending order. To sort it in the descending order, we'll go back again to home, we'll go filter, custom sort, and this time from largest to smallest. As you can see, it has given us the position now something what is greater than three, that is on position number four. 
minus 1 represents greater than. So greater than the 3, this is the position number 4. There is 9. So that goes for the cell reference number 1. And we will see 7. It should go for 2. Excellent. So in case of match type, when you are selecting minus 1, the values must be in the descending order. It's very important so in order to get the correct answer. If you talk about 0, the exact match in the formula, we have seen in our previous example that it should give the exact number. In order to extract the position from this lookup array, the 4 has a position number 4. Number 2 has a position number 5. It doesn't matter whether your data is in ascending or descending manner. The most important thing, the value should be exactly matched. Most of the time, we'll be using the match type as 0. In some occasions, we'll be needing the match type as 1 or minus 1 to get our value. So I hope, my friends, you have enjoyed this video. So please push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and push a bell icon next to the subscribe button for the latest update. Signing off for today, your friend Faraz Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master.